Yeah, this is my 2006 F-150. It's got an overdrive problem uh, with it. Um, it drives, the transmission drives perfect in uh, the first four gears, but if it goes into overdrive, it uh, starts to slip when it gets hot. Um, that is signal now, but ordinarily the, uh, the check engine lights on. I mean, if you, like I said, if you leave it on, if you leave overdrive off, it's fine. Um, but when you turn it back on and it goes in the fifth gear, it'll actually rev up just like, uh, basically like you put the car into neutral. Um, and actually when you give it gas, um, and when it's slipping, if you give it extra gas, it'll actually, uh, regrip and go back into the gear. So as you can see, it's shifting actually perfect now. I'll show you when it goes into overdrive, what happens. Okay, there's fourth. There's overdrive. It appears to be working okay now, actually. But basically, up oh, there it goes. It just, it just revved out of overdrive. So that's basically what it's been doing. I uh, just started uh, doing this. I'm gonna I'm headed down to uh, take it apart right now. So we'll see, see what happens with it. Okay, so it's the next day. I scanned the F-150 for codes. Uh, it actually did have a, a code for the catalytic converter, but there was uh, nothing related to the transmission, unfortunately. So I just decided to um, pull the, the transmission oil pan off and um, actually found a few pieces of metal in there. So uh, let me show you exactly what happened. Here's the transmission oil pan. Here's the filter. There is some stuff in the filter, it's hard to see. This is easier to show you. The oil looks okay. It's still red. It's pretty dirty though. But what's really interesting is this right here. There is uh, a bunch of metal stuck to the magnet. Actually some quite large pieces. You can see that on there. There are several of the little pieces of metal just like that on the magnet. See that? So a little piece of metal and that's pretty actually a pretty large piece of metal. So unfortunately I think the transmission is gonna have to come apart. Um, starting with the valve body. Hopefully it's just the valve body, a valve body problem. I don't want to have to go deeper into the transmission, but uh, got the valve body coming apart. Um, just three screws left uh, before it comes out. I'm letting it drain. Um, if you do do this, the it's actually pretty easy. You can do it yourself. The transmission pan uh, screws are just a you know, regular screw, 10 millimeter head, and then the valve body screws are uh, 8 millimeter head. It's a good idea to lay them out like this on a towel or something like that just to keep track of which one goes where because uh, it looks like there's two different lengths so you want to keep track of where the short ones go where the long ones go. Um, so yeah as soon as I was done draining I'll pull that off and see if I can find anything broken inside. Okay well here's the top side of the valve body just got out of the car and it looks like I found the problem right here. There's a snap ring or a C-clip rather just sitting right here. There's a piece of it missing. <clears throat> so I guess that's the problem. I just need to figure out where it came from now. That's really, really shitty. That snap rings just fall off inside the transmission. Okay, so this is how the truck sits now. Valve body's out. Still trying to find the location of that little sequin that fell off. Here's the valve body, fully disassembled. It's still dirty, you have to clean it. But I took everything off of it, it's just the aluminum piece. There's all the hardware to it. And then here's the valves and the little check balls. All laid out nicely. 
so I know where they all go. So it should be interesting. I haven't seen any uh, any foreign matter in any of those valves, but uh, I mean it is pretty dirty in there. So I guess I'll clean it out real good, put it all back together, and see if it shifts any better. Um, of course, after finding the location of that of that uh, broken C clip, might have to go to the dealer to find that though, or look online. There was a pretty dirty spot right there. So yeah, stay tuned. So this is fairly interesting. I was cleaning this, all these passageways out, and over in this region, there just seemed to be a lot of chunks of stuff floating around as it's getting cleaned out. I'm not sure if it's pieces of the that little snap ring or what, but uh, some, de some material definitely did come out. Just something to note. Looks like it's cleaning up pretty nice though. Okay, so valve body is completely clean now. And I did find where the C-clip came from, or E-clip, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> it came from right here on the car. It should be a C-clip right, right there on that, on the little lip. And I went to the Ford dealer and they have them there for about $40 uh, for the whole assembly. But I really just need the C-clip. So I went to Napa and got an exact C-clip for $0.58. Cents. And I'm going to put that on. Okay, the truck is fully back together. I drove it a few miles so far and uh, appears to be driving great. Um, I guess it was just that clip falling off and getting broken up inside the valve body. Because it's shifting great now. It drives so nice and it goes straight into overdrive too. definitely the problem and I'm glad it didn't uh, break anything else inside so uh, problem solved